So today I'm going to talk about uh, auto hotkey. Now I use this on a day-to-day -day basis to um, make my uh, mouse uh, and keyboard just more functional uh, and so I can work faster and more productively. Uh, so it's called auto hotkey and uh, when you download it, it will uh, basically just give you this big resource of basically everything you can do. Uh, so I'll jump right into the code. Uh, you can probably see more basic videos uh, somewhere else on YouTube. Um, so for starters, this is uh, the code, and the mouse that I use is available here on Amazon. It's basically just a standard cheap gaming mouse, and what I use it for is these buttons, uh, uh, buttons four and five. Uh, I just uh, by using those, you can use combinations with the mouse wheel and the left and right click, and uh, you see in the code of how I decided to use them, and you could change it up the way you'd like. Um, so this obviously won't work on a regular mouse because you definitely need these two buttons. Um, so basically, I'll start off showing you what I have, and they're all split up into sections of two. So the first two is volume up and volume down. The way the code works is you put on the left the button that you're going to click, and then on the right it's what's going to be sent, what's going to be done, uh, what you want done for you. So I use volume up by pushing but X button 1 being this bottom one uh, that you see here. And so when I click that and then scroll up or scroll down, you see that the volume changes. Uh, and I use this all the time. It's like remote control for your TV and it's very efficient. Uh, you could change it uh, and it should work on all laptops. And then next, uh, I have this code here. And I don't use this one too often, but basically it allows me to delete and add spaces by using the middle button, middle button being the mouse wheel, and uh, so when you click it down. So I can delete something, so if I just type by pushing button 1 and delete, and then I can also add spaces if I push button 2, and I could go delete again. And so remember, button 2, button 1 is the one back here, and button 2 is the one up front. All right, so moving on, I have copy and paste. And so if you know on the keyboard, uh, every computer has the shortcut of Control-C, Control-V. Obviously on Macs it'll be commands. Um, I'm not sure how to do command, but I have a Windows, so Control is used by this little caret. And so you could use anything here uh, to do this. You can do uh, undo and redo, uh, anything with Control that you want. Um, so maybe you want to do re a refresh or something. Uh, so what I have is X button 2, which is the one up front and then the right button, right button being right click, and then you have left click. Um, and so I use this one a lot, so I just highlight something, click to copy, and then I can paste as much as I want. And then if you move down here, I can also undo what I just did, uh, but this is notepad, so undos don't work very well. So I'll just delete. Uh, oh, a couple more. Yeah, so that's that, and then this is actually the next set. This is probably one of my favorite that I use a lot other than volume and copy. Uh, what it does, it allows me to zoom in and out. So if you don't know, if you go to someone like Chrome right here and do control, if you see the caret, control, and then uh, scroll up or plus or minus, it'll zoom in and zoom out. So what I did is basically when I push the middle mouse button, and then scroll, I can zoom in and zoom out by typing this here. And But when you do that, because you're clicking the middle mouse, if, if you ever like to use clicking to do this kind of scroll function, or if you want to open up uh, links on a new tab where you tap the middle mouse button, it, it'll override that unless you type this, which basically says when you push the middle button, do a middle mouse click. Simple as that. So moving on. Um, we have X button 2 wheeling up. And basically this one will just allow you to scroll through the text. Um, I'm thinking I could change it to the up or down arrows or something so you can kind of go to next ones and everything. Uh, but I use this a little bit. It's kind of good for you just you aim in the general letter and you can get to any letter you want. Uh, so then I already showed undo, redo. Uh, and then next I have enter or return. Uh, by pushing the two buttons. This is actually one that's a little tougher to just kind of get used to because basically what I'm doing is I push button one and hold on to it and then I tap button two and I'm able to do enter and then the opposite to do escape but there's uh, no way to do 
uh, escape doesn't do anything here. I use that a lot for YouTube when something's on full screen and then to minimize it, uh, and escape will do that. Um, you could also use this maybe desktop or something. Uh, any other keyboard shortcut will work, whatever you want, as long as it's on the right side of the colons. And then now this is a little bit trickier of something. This allows me to do double clicking. Uh, so for X button 2, the one up here, I can only have it for if I tap it once, it will do save, control S. But if I tap it twice, it'll do send, it'll send uh, control F11. Uh, now you can make that whatever you want. Uh, that's what I use in Eclipse to, uh, in Eclipse to uh, run a program. But obviously that's different for everyone, whatever you want it to do. Um, and so basically what you do, you say X button 2 with the two colons, and that's the same as basically all the other places here. Uh, the only difference is, instead of going right into the instruction, you do if the time since prior hotkey is less than 400, 400 being milliseconds. Uh, and then you type this as well. And it's as simple as that. You do the one, this is for double click, and then this is for single click. And now lastly, all I have is when I push X button 1, it'll do Windows. So I can easily get my, get to my apps and everything uh, very easily. So that's what I use. Uh, it, all this code will work on any other gaming mouse. Uh, many of them have the two buttons. Uh, these buttons don't do anything, it's just these two. Uh, and so this is a nice cheap mouse. It's not ergonomic or anything. Uh, the lights are kind of cool. Um, batteries last a little while, so uh, I definitely would recommend it. Thanks for watching.